Hey, what's going on? It's Darren Jamal from Social Living, and today I'm gonna to show you three of my favorite tricks whenever I create digital collages. Before you watch, just hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos I post. So I'm just gonna start with three pages from my downloadable collage pack. So if you haven't checked that out yet, definitely go to my website and download. It's free and it has over a hundred pages of images to use for your collages, uh, digital or analog, can print them out, whatever you like. So definitely go to my website and check that out. I'll link it down in the description. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start with a background just to get some texture. So I'll draw a little square around this, double click both and create a clipping mass and line. I'll size this up. Then I'll create a color layer over that and mess with the blending layer to get the look I'm going for. That looks good. Next I'll grab this second page and I'll take the pencil tool and I'll draw an outline around the image I want which is this hand in this case. And I'll select both and make a clipping mask again. Just clean up these edges a little bit with the pencil tool. It won't be perfect, but look decent. Alright, so I'm going to control C, control F and copy this hand and then as you can see I made a hand copy. I'll just go ahead and name these so it's a little simpler to see. And so I have two of this hand object, one on top of each other. Select the top one and I'm going to take the pencil tool, draw a little U-turn to connect it back to itself. We'll select the other layer and I will draw a similar U-turn to connect it back to itself and bam. And then I'll take the ellipse tool and I'll draw an oval about the size of the arm and adjust to make it fit. Then copy and paste the oval in front of itself and size it down to create a nice border. Then go to the gradient fill and add a gradient to add some depth. Next I'll take the lower hand object and I'll copy and paste it in front of itself and I'll take the pencil tool and I'll draw a little line to create a blob and then I'll move that object outside and have a separate piece. I'll copy and paste that piece and do some adjustments. And then I'll do the same for this top hand object. So I'll copy and paste in front of it and then I'll just draw a little section to take away and then I'll draw a section inside of that to take away and then bam just this a little all right next I'll take the third page and I'll just cut out this fan from it using the pencil tool I'll move the fan object to in, in front of the hand. Then I'll take the top hand object and I'll copy and paste it in front of itself and I'll bring the layer above the fan. I'll take the pencil tool and I'll draw an outline around the object I want in front of the fan. In this case is the thumb. Mm -hmm. 
to add a little more depth, I'll make a shadow below the thumb. So I'll take the pencil tool and I'll draw an outline about what the shadow should be. I'll pick a dark color and I'll put that layer below the thumb and above the fan. I'll adjust the blending mode to get it to something that looks decent, usually multiply. And then I'll go to effect and add a Gaussian blur to probably about 10 pixels. Mess with the position and lower the opacity to make it seem a little more realistic. So those are just three of my favorite tricks that I like to use whenever I'm making digital collages. The separate limb or object with the hollow inside, the broken away pieces kind of falling off, and adding shadow to your collage work can definitely add a whole lot of depth and character. Definitely take a look at the finished piece and watch part two of this video to see how I did that. And if you haven't yet, go check out my free collage pack on my website, socialliving.us. A hundred pages of images you can use for digital collage, or you can print them out and use them in your traditional collage. Some of the same images I use in my work. Definitely go check it out. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more.